A Jackson County jail inmate was taken to the hospital in critical condition and his family found him in the ICU on a ventilator. So what happened? Well, the jail says he fell off a toilet, but the family says it's clear to them there is a whole lot more to this story and they turn to our investigative reporter Angie Racono to expose what happened and how it's being investigated. This is Timothy Nevels. He's been in the ICU for about a week. This is the one picture his family was able to snap before guards told them to stop. When I saw him for the first time, literally, I knew that he did not fall off a toilet stool. Tim was beaten severely. He was beaten severely about the head, neck, Nancy Neville says she was stunned when she saw her brother inside Truman's ICU on a ventilator. His bottom lip was swollen. Neville's is a nurse. She says some wounds appeared fresh, others old, all of them troubling, including deep bruises and heavy abrasions on her brother's knees and shoulders. So this nurse doesn't blame a toilet. That is just not true. It's not true. I know it. They know it. A two-year-old would even know that. That's just not true. The troubled Jackson County Jail has been the focus of numerous KCTV5 investigations because it's so awful. He was having sex with me. We've covered rapes. I don't have a whole lot left inside right now. And deaths. I'm baffled right now. The cell doors don't always lock, so they use padlocks as a backup. Guards are accused of beating inmates. Inmates are accused of beating guards. And of course, inmates beat each other. We've also heard from whistleblowers. What do you think you could bring in there? A gun, drugs, cigarettes, anything you would like. It is a crisis. A grand jury documented the problems. The county even hired experts for advice. You have to do something tomorrow or today. That was a year ago. Nothing has really changed. To see him like that, I was really outraged. I'm still outraged. Kansas City Police and the Jackson County Sheriff's Office investigate crimes inside the jail. But remember, the jail says this man fell off a toilet. Here's what a jail spokesperson told KCTV5 when we question why there's no outside investigation. There is no evidence that a crime was committed and that this incident was medical in nature. It shows that not only do you all, are you all not competent to run a jail, a county jail? You're probably not competent to run a dog pound either because you treated him worse than an animal. And I am angry about it. The family questions why they can no longer see their brother. It's been almost a week. They say once they voiced their concerns and publicly questioned all these injuries, hospital visitation ended. The jail leadership cited protocol. The family says everyone involved in these decisions should be ashamed. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.